most of the time would be like career failure. I kind of quit playing music. But it was because God told me to, so that's what I did. And then, and then, and then a couple years later, that video goes viral again on Facebook, and then like 27 million people watched it the second time, which is crazy. I still see it pop up every once in a while. I'm like, what is the deal with this dog going on? <laughs> So I know, I know many of you came this evening. Many, many of you, this is probably your first time. How many of this is your first time you ever seen me? First time. I know what got you here. Somebody goes, watch, watch, watch this white boy sing this Whitney Houston song. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. It's all right. I ain't even mad about it. God has used it to take me all over the world and give me the opportunity to do some crazy things. We had the opportunity in 2016 to go and play at the Salute to the Armed Forces in Nagarwal. Yeah. Which was a life-changing, just mind-altering experience. I can't even begin to tell you. I had the opportunity to meet the President that day. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, want me, you want me to tell you a story? I'll tell you a quick version. You want to hear it? You want to hear the story? You want me to just play the song? So, we fly up there with our band. I get this phone call from a company in Fort Worth. They say, we want you to play Salute to the Armed Forces and Armored Ball. I'm like, what? Me? You couldn't get Beyonce? They were like, we couldn't get Beyonce. So we got to sell for you. And so, I flew up to D.C. They said, the President, President Donald Trump and the First Lady are going to be there. They're going to be in attendance. So, you need to know that. And I was like, okay, that's, that's fine. And so, I was cool with that. And, you know, he can do what he wants. He's the president. And, uh, and so, so they say, well, we had this meeting today, and they want you to play the first dance for the president first lady. I was like, what? And it's the craziest. And then they're like, we want you to do the song My Way by Frank Sinatra. I was like, oh, my gosh. So we worked up My Way by Frank Sinatra. And then we had the opportunity, we flew up there, we played like a two hour set for the servicemen and women. If you are a serviceman and woman, bless you, thank you for doing what you do. I've said the name Jesus like seven times since I've been on this stage. And I'm gonna tell you, my wife and I travel all over the world and share the gospel with people and there are places in this world you can't do that. And, and that should tell you one thing about the name of Jesus, that there's power in it. And then you can say any other name, I don't care. You say that name, it doesn't matter. But then, but also, we are free in this country to do that. And it's yes. because of people that, that keep us free. Freedom, yes. free, and all that stuff. So bless you, thank you for doing what you do. So I was honored to get to go up there. 3,000 people in the National Building Museum, black tie event, crazy, like, Security, Secret Service, those dudes are scary. They're really talking to their wrists with little ear on it things. It's like a movie, like a Harrison Ford movie thing. They are freaky. And and then, so we get up there and we play our set. And then about 10 minutes before, well, they say, go enjoy yourself. Have a good time. We'll call you back in about 30 minutes. The president's running behind. We plan on this. Just enjoy yourself. So we go. We're doing our thing, we're meeting, we're greeting, we're taking pictures with servicemen and women, and I get a tug on my coat and I say, Mr. Weathers, you have to come backstage right away. So I go backstage and say, the president is gonna be here, he's back on schedule, he's gonna be here in five minutes, and he does not wanna dance to the song that you have prepared. I said, he picked the song, I didn't pick the song. I said, well, he doesn't wanna dance to it, so we need song options right now. And there's this lady named Julie, who's the liaison to the president for the event, and the production guy's name is Walter, and he's running the whole show. And he's like, they're sweating bullets, and they're like, we need song options right now. So I say, you know this song, this song? No, nobody knows the song. Then she flips open a phone, and she, she gets on the phone with a guy who's in the car with the president on the way there, and I hear the president and this guy talking. And they're like, ask him, ask him, does he know the theme from Cats? <laughs> and maybe you didn't hear what I said. But I said, he said, ask him, does he know the theme from Cats? I said, man, I'm from Burleson, Texas. I don't know nothing about Broadway, Cats. I don't, 
We shoot cats. I like cats. Cats can help. <laughs> if you have a cat, we will pray for you later on the day. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, I have a cat, and he told me I'm from hell. You don't even have to pet me. You don't have to love me. I don't even need you at all. Yeah. I didn't say all that, but... <laughs> So we can't get anything decided. She said, you're just going to have to talk to him. They want to talk to you. I said, okay. And so she said, Secret Service will take you upstairs and they'll tell you how to engage with the president. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So Secret Service takes us upstairs, me and this Walter. And we get up to the top of the steps. Secret Service, this is how this is going to go. The president's going to walk in those doors. He's going to come up those stairs. He's going to greet you first. And he's going to greet you. We're going to tell him who you are, what you're here to do. You're going to give him three song options. If he doesn't know the song, you sing the song. <laughs> yes, sir. I can do that. So, we're standing at the top of the steps, and Walter looks at me and he's like, dude, you're about to audition for the president. And I was like, I'm going to go pray. So I just like, walked out there and the hall. Secret Service grabs me, they put me back in place, and they say, we told you not to move. And they, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but just like they said, President, First Lady, Vice President, his wife, family members. Ivanka Trump came in first, no security, no nothing. She's like, I own the place. And she owned the place. And she walked straight to the holding room. She was really sweet. And uh, and then and then just like they said, all those people flood us. And then the president goes, right there. And he's standing, hey, about this tall, he's standing right there. And how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Everybody good? Everybody's good. It's good. Everybody's good. This is my wife. It's the first lady. This is the first lady. She's like, yes, sir. This is the first lady. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, okay, okay. So, they go, Mr. President, this is Josh. Josh is going to sing the first dance. Uh, he's the guy. Oh, good. You're the guy. You're the guy. You're the guy. We hired you. You're the guy. What do you think we ought to do? I said, well, do you know the song Uchow? And he goes, Uchow. Because I had like a whole soul band, backup singers, and all that stuff. And he was like, Uchow, I don't know Uchow. What is Uchow? I went, ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. And Mike Pence was like, oh, that is perfect. And he was like, nah, 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 nah. It's too fast. Too fast. We don't want to dance, dance. We need something very slow. Very slow. Long day. Long day. So, yes, sir. Do you know the song? Uh, I said, how about the Whitney Houston version of I Will Always Love You? And he said, oh, oh, that is. That is perfect, Josh, Josh, that is perfect. Honey, is that perfect? That is perfect. <clears throat> I said, I said uh, well, I said, Mr. President, I know you want this performance to be with the band. I don't play this song with the band. I've only ever played this song by myself. And he goes, I think it would be good with the band. It would be better with the band. I think it would be good. He, he even goes, he goes, how are you going to do the drum thing? The boom and the, uh, how are you going to do that? You got no drums. And I was like, I said, I didn't know what to say. I just stood there like, ah, there we go. And Walter, Walter goes, Mr. President, Josh's version of this song is the best version you'll ever hear in your life, sir. And I was like, wait, stop it. No. I, I, looked at, I looked at Walter and I was like, bro, you could have said anything. <laughs> That's what you picked. I wanted to like dig a hole and then dig another one and get in that hole and put stuff on top of it. And, and I, he just looked at me like, and, and he goes, Josh, what is your best song? And I said, sir, that's got to be the best. Millions of people heard me sing that song. That, that's going to be the best. And he goes, if you think that's the best, that's what we're going to do. You're the guy. You're the guy. We hired you. It's your gig. It's your part. It's your thing. We're here. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. It's not going to be a thing. We're going to have fun. So we shake hands. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be huge. And he goes, hey, you want a picture? I was like, yes, sir. I'd love a picture. And he goes, oh, trust me. You guys want a picture. Let's go. So we take a picture. Come on, honey. Let's give him a picture. We take a picture. And then he elbows me like that while we're standing. He goes, hey, this goes good. Probably going to sell like a million records. <laughs> we're still waiting. We're still waiting on that. Tonight. But it was really, it was life-changing experience. Two things that I walked away from. The man was just who he said he was. He was a gentleman. 
he was he was encouraging. He could have been a total jerk, and he just wasn't. And and, and he was just he was not that orange in person. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why that seemed to happen. He was not. He was really kind to me, and he wasn't orange. Yeah. Um, and uh, anyway, so I ran downstairs. I ran downstairs. I tell the band what happened. Oh, you met the president? Like, yeah, I met the president. It was crazy. Man. We have like 30 seconds. I said, I think we can do it with the band. He goes, A, F sharp, D, E. Let's just pray. We'll go do it. Blaine, follow me. 6-8. It's fine. You've heard me do this a million times. So we just gather up and pray because without Jesus, we were just going to fall flat on our face. And then we walked out on stage and we played that song. The only time we've ever played it with a band. I've never played it with a band since then because it would make the story less cool. Because 34 million people watched it that evening. You know, I will do it again tomorrow. So. Yeah. If I should stay, I will You! 